In an age when air travel is getting increasingly uncomfortable, shrinking seats, expanding fees, we have an exclusive inside look at an alternative way to fly. There's only one prerequisite. You have to be president of the United States. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. This is on the president's reading list? <laughs> that might be on the first lady's. <laughs> Inside Air Force One, it seems a diverse reading selection from life and style to the latest Sports Illustrated. And on board, some of the finest food you can get in the air. And check out those table settings. We've seen it in movies as a giant moving target. Get off my plane. Does this look familiar? The flying Oval Office, nearly identical to the onset version in House of Cards. So you want me to forgive you to say that it was OK? But tonight, for the first time under President Obama, we're taking you on an exclusive all-access tour of Air Force One. We are already on a military base, but we are about to go to a base within a base, one of the most secure military facilities in the world. This is where Air Force One is housed. Colonel Dave Banholzer right. is the Air Force One commander. If you wouldn't mind handing your cell phone over to our security guy here, All right. uh, just because we're going into a more secure I don't area. usually surrender this thing anywhere. So that's, uh, <laughs> Our first stop, the kitchen, where military chefs prepare some of the best meals in the sky. So how do, how do you ensure the security of this food? Once it leaves here, uh, we're going to back and seal. We're going to make sure it's in our, uh, our containers, in our area. Today's menu, quinoa salad hints at the healthy influence of Michelle Obama. Is the menu a little different when, when the First Lady's not flying? Because we, we, we know the president's... Uh... I can neither confirm yeah. nor deny. <laughs> Just down the hallway, a stunning reveal. That's quite a sight. Welcome to Air Force One. Massive and spotless, every inch polished by hand before every flight. On the main deck, our tour guide, Chief Master Sergeant Rob Nation. Uh, this is the, the president's office, if you will. Uh, he can come in and do any of his day-to-day -day business here. He has the capabilities, the same as the White House. On every flight, the president's personal physician. He can transform his cabin into an airborne emergency room. We have defibrillators, uh, we have suction devices, we have uh, IV pumps. Down the hall, the flying situation room where the president can address the nation, the press cabin. This is my usual seat on Air Force One. And finally. Yes, sir, you'd like to see the business end of Air Force yeah, One? Yeah, yeah. Come on in. It's a tight fit. Please have a seat. That's the co-pilot seat, so you can be my co-pilot today. All right. What's the most challenging place you've had to land? Yeah. Afghanistan is the most, uh, you know, hard thumping until you get on the ground there and, uh, and then you get out of there safely. Yeah. Air Force One, most certainly secure. After all, it flies America's first family. I, I, I got to ask you. Do you have a lot of weapons on this plane? The president is very well protected. One Hollywood myth busted. So have you ever seen the movie Air Force One? I have. Totally realistic, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> now, there is no escape pod on board the airplane, contrary to uh, public myth. Our tour complete, we join the crew and President Obama for his 1,070th flight, a trip to New York City. Uh, quinoa. Just enough time to order lunch. Hey, Mom. And for a quick call to Mom on the President's secure line. And our journey ends here on the tarmac at JFK Airport in New York. Yet another on-time arrival for Air Force One. For Nightline, I'm Jonathan Carl on Air Force One. Our thanks to John Carl. And this question, what are your in-flight essentials? Go to our Nightline Facebook page and let us know the magazines, movies, or snacks you've always got to have on hand.